Okay, so we take uh, we strip our Romex jackets off. We bring it in about a half of an inch into the box. We'll take all of our ground wires here. I'll start a twist by hand here. Now when you twist these ground wires together, see your cutters here. You want to make sure you, you clear the, the way of the cutters so you don't nick the ground wire. So see how I have the uh, cutters held here so that nothing gets pinched. And I'll twist them together. I'll then do the one back. I'll clip off these two here. We use what's called a copper rated crimp sleeve. It's rated for copper wire and, and we'll put it in the crimper like that. Put it in like that, bring it down so that I see all three wires coming through, squeeze it. Now what I like to do, I like to take some electrical tape because of the sharp edges here. I don't want to have a, a sharp edge cut into a, the insulation of a wire, so I'm going to uh, Tape this up here. So I'm going to tape over the sharp edges there. And I'll go back and forth a few times here. This is not in the code, but it's something I like to do just for extra protection so I don't have a problem in the future of a wire getting poked into and shorted out. And around the end here, I'll just wrap it a few times so it stays in place. Then I'll just squeeze it in, up and down here. See how I make it sure it stays in place. And we'll push these wires back into the box. Hold them back this way and I have the ground tail sticking out. I've had to pull that white wire up there so it's out of the way so that this ground can get back into the back of the box where I want it. Okay, now we're ready to take her. I'm 
on the white wires here. We'll strip it with the 14 hole. I'm stripping them long because when I get them twisted, I'm going to cut them off. So I want to give a nice long piece here so I have something to get a good start with a twist. Okay, we get our insulation lined up at the bottom there. We'll start our twist with these three here. We'll get our fourth wire in here, which is the tail that will go to the outlet. I'll bring it back in. I'll get the insulation even here at the bottom. I'll get them all twisted nice and even here. I'll cut the end off so it's even. I'll make sure my insulation is even here at the bottom, and it is. And I'll look at the top, make sure my ends are all even. I see one, two, three, four. And we'll just put our wire nut on so it stays together. And it's insulated. Now they make a tool for this here, but I don't have one with me. So I'm not going to squeeze the wire nut with these cutters. I'm just turning it. Now the white wires can be folded back into the box. Okay, so now we're ready to hook our black wires up. The black is always the live wire. Again, I'm going to strip them longer here because I'm going to start the twist and I'm going to cut the end off so it's even. Always strip with the hole that's the size of the wire so you don't cut into the uh, copper.
Okay, so we'll start this twist here. Get the insulation even down at the bottom. Because if you start crooked, it'll be crooked all the way through and you don't want that. I don't like how that twist came out, so I'm going to open that back up. I'll loosen everything up just a little bit here and we'll try again. There we go, it looks a lot better. Again, we'll cut the end off. Okay, one, two, three, four. The insulation is even on the bottom. And I see all four wires there on the top. I'm going to just take my flashlight because my vision is kind of bad when I'm One, two, three, four. One, two. Okay, so the insulation is even at the bottom. We'll put our wire nut on. Again, I'm not squeezing it, I'm just turning the wire nut with it. I just made sure the wire nut didn't crack. So now we're ready to push the black wires back into the box.
and just make sure that all my jackets are in the box there. The black wire always goes on the brass screw because it's hot, which is the live. And notice how the uh, live side is a narrower slot. And see how the wires are folded back into the box neatly so that everything gets pushed in without anything getting pinched.